People in the Philippines are still rebuilding after one of the strongest typhoons ever recorded swept through their country. Six months ago, Typhoon Haiyan flattened villages and left more than 7,300 people dead or missing. Today, two million people are still living in shelters. NHK World's Charmaine Deo Gracias reports from one of the hardest hit areas. Six months on, we are back on Leyte Island, where thousands of homes and buildings were flattened. The commercial center of Tacloban has been rebuilt. The electricity and water are back on. But on the town's outskirts along the coast, you can see rows of makeshift shelters made of tarps and items salvaged from the rubble. The devastation was most severe in this village. People now call it Yolanda Village, which is the typhoon's name in Tagalog. 500 people died here, one out of every five. 47-year-old Lenita Fuentes lost her home in the storm surge when a ship rammed into it. Her brother and his family have been missing since then. So many people are still missing, and they haven't been found. We lost all the property our parents gave us. She has built a shelter using materials gathered from the rubble. Her husband, children and grandchildren, 12 in all, live under one roof. They want to move to temporary housing, but so do a million other people. So far, none is available. Fuentes used to trade fish at a local market, but the job is gone. She says she only has three U.S. dollars to her name. Food assistance has stopped, and for now, they are living on the rice and canned goods they have saved. I don't know how long this food will last. I have no job. So we have to save everything. The people here badly wanted to be relocated, and obviously, they needed to be. But how and where, that they don't know. The local and national governments have plans to build 200,000 temporary houses in areas away from the coast. But they are having problems securing the land. So far, only 130 units have been built. We are constructing already, but it will take uh, six more months to complete the housing units. And Fuentes has new things to worry about, namely this year's typhoon season, which starts next month. When the weather is bad, I'm afraid our place may be destroyed by the ship again. I can't sleep. For now, people can only pray that the weather will be kind to them in the coming season. Charmaine Deogracias, NHK World, Tacloban.